What's up, guys? It's your girl, Soul Sis Tia, with hubby and baby boy. Say hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> and this is our intro to our 25 days of Vlogmas. So thank you for tuning in. Video should be coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> So I use about three boxes of elbow macaroni um, and you want to make sure your water is boiled and you want to put your macaroni in your boiled water. When you pull it out, it's going to be al dente, so not all the way cooked, but just, just enough. And then you want to cube up some butter and you want to stir your butter in so that you can loosen up the noodles. And then you're going to also add a can of evaporated milk. I used about four cans of evaporated milk throughout the whole process. But again, it's just to help loosen up the noodles so they don't be so stuck together. Yeah, look at that big old pot. Ooh, it's going to be so good. And then you start making your roux. And so for, for me, I just use um, a stick of butter and a half and flour. And you want to make sure that you whisk in your flour and butter really well because you don't want to burn um, your flour. So, um, and I need a, a lot. So that's why you see me constantly pouring in um, my, um, my flour. And I just use evaporated milk. Don't forget, evaporated milk is really good. Also use whole milk as well. And then you just go ahead and whisk it and whisk it and whisk it because you want to get the chunks out of that. Um, make sure that that flour and butter mixture is as loose as possible. So you just keep on whisking away and add more and more and more liquid. So just switch in between your milk and your evaporated milk and whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it good. I add a little bit of seasoning in my... Um, and my cheese sauce um, before I put the cheese in, just so that I can get a little bit of more flavor in there, but not too much. I started with my first cheese, which is my mild cheddar cheese, and you pour it in there, and you just whisk it ever so gently, because you again, the cheese, you don't want it to clump up, and it's going to clump up a little bit, but you just keep on whisking it and whisking it until it... Um, until it until it loosens up, or melts, I should say. And then, okay, then I add my second cheese, which is my Kobe Jack cheese, Monterey Jack cheese. My third cheese is my Parmesan cheese. Mix that in ever so gently. And my fourth cheese is my mozzarella cheese. Oh, this is going to be so delicious, so creamy and so thick. And again, this is, this is a baked one. So you have to have eggs. So I have about one, two, three, four, five. I think I have about five eggs. Yeah, about five eggs in there. And I'm going to whisk those eggs, whisk them, and whisk it really good because it's going to be help with bonding my um, my baked macaroni and cheese together. And I'm also going to add some evaporated milk in this as well because evaporated milk helps with the bonding of the, um, like I said, of the noodles. So whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, and whisk it. I'm going to temper those eggs a little later. So go back to the noodles and add you some more seasoning to the noodles. Actually, I didn't add any. It's my first time adding seasoning to the actual noodles. So I'm going to use just, just basic seasoning, just some black pepper. Excuse me. Just some black pepper and some um, seasoning salt. And um, you don't need a lot of seasoning like that. You just want to put a little seasoning to taste because remember, your cheese have a lot of flavor in it as well. Mix that up together. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Back to the cheese sauce. Oh my gosh, this cheese sauce looks so delicious. It's going to be so bomb. 
That's how you make a four cheese cheese sauce right there. Just making sure I got as much as I can melt it. Pour it in the pot. Pour it in the pan. Pour it, pour it, pour it, pour it, pour it. And so much cheese. I had to get it from a different angle because it was too much cheese. Um, Yeah, now I can see a little bit better where you just pour it in there. Just pour it all over. It doesn't matter where you pour it from this point because all you're going to do is pour all the cheese in there. And then you're just going to stir it in. Just stir it in as much as you can. And it's a lot of cheese sauce. Don't the um the measurements are there. It's not gonna be too much. And then now you're gonna add in the tempered um eggs. And I did not show how I tempered those eggs, but basically all I did was um added some of the cheese sauce and I just whisked really fast because you don't want to have scrambled eggs in your egg in your in your um in your baked macaroni and cheese. So uh, make sure you temper those eggs really well. <laughs> Look at that. And I'm not even done yet. I'm not even done yet. If you want, you can stop there. You can stop right here. Pop it in the oven. But it wouldn't be worth it because you got to put you got to put the extra cheese on top. Yep. So I got all my cheeses on top. And I'm just going to take... um. That and I'm um, actually this is the mix in. I'm gonna mix in some more cheese. I'm mixing in some more cheese and then I'm gonna put some more on top. But yeah, just mix that cheese in, mix that, mix that cheese in just to make sure that all those um different cheeses go in there. So mix it, mix it, stir it, stir it, mix it, mix it, stir it, stir it. And uh, what I like to do at this point is I like to take a little fork and just taste it just a little bit just to see. If the flavor's in there, but it should be it should be pretty good. But then at that point, you while you mix in that last bit of cheese, you can add a little bit more seasoning. But when you start putting this top layer of cheese on, this is it. At this point, if it ain't ready, then I don't know what to tell you. But this is it. So um, so yeah, I'm adding on my I believe this was the Colby Jack cheese. I can't remember exactly, but I feel like it's the Colby Jack cheddar cheese i'll um i'll probably have in my um in the front what uh in my description i'm sorry <laughs> in my description what cheese it was and then i put my parmesan leftover parmesan cheese leftover sharp cheddar cheese and look at that would you look at that would you look at that yes i do take orders if you were in the local southern <laughs> los angeles area and it was a hit. It was a hit. Everybody loved the macaroni. Mm -hmm.